and we have been listening to some of your feedback. You might have noticed the absence of clapping. Absolutely. Yeah, so we can... <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying to take on board your feedback and let's hope we are making progress with our video production. So anyway, the lovely John Mellican is here. Of comments on that, we know, are going to get loads of comments on that. We are going to get loads of comments on that. So anyway, welcome to John Mellican again. And yeah. today, John, how are you by the way? I'm very good, thank you. Very good, as very always. Good. As always, yeah. Today, yeah. I think we're going to do some seared sea bass. We did some sea bass today. With we, some? A uh, bit of samphire, a little bit of bernard set, with some shrimps, a little bit of onion. And believe it or not, we're going to do something a bit weird today. We're going to burn some cauliflower, which some guys at home will probably be thinking, why is he burning cauliflower? But we'll That's show you what I, 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 I have to admit, I was thinking, exactly. why are you burning exactly. cauliflower? Exactly. And the products that we're using today, we're going to be using the rapeseed oil, exactly. okay, Brussels finest. Thanks very much. And we're going to be using some smoked oil as well. Brilliant. Right? Now, just in case you didn't know, all of these are available at www fusselsfinefoods.co.uk and we've got a special offer for you today you know we like to have special offers and we will be giving you a code later on in the program uh, and if you pop that code in you're going to get free delivery on your next order from Fussels Fine Foods. So John let's get cracking. Right okay so um, I was going to turn this pan down because we'll because it was too hot. It was too hot. Well it's now you can never have a, a pan that's too hot for a fish mate unfortunately. You can never yeah, have a hot pan, pan yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> basically well, I'm going to go back I want to start off with the burnt cauliflower yeah. Now, so, how did we Burn, well, it's not exactly burnt, but what we've done, we put it in the oven, okay, yeah. and we've crispized the side, all the round the outside, as you can obviously yeah, see. Yeah. yeah. But what like we're going to need is the florets of this. Okay. okay. So you need to go inside. This is your job, sir. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so get on the job, sir. So all we're going to do is just go inside. Yeah. I take it down the middle. Yeah. And then take the florets. I'll show you one. Yeah. And then you'll see the rest. Then yeah. So you want to keep it nice and small because we don't need a lot anyway. Just keep it nice and small. Yeah. Like this. And. And then, and if you feel it, you'll feel it's kind of cooked, yeah? yeah? And what I've done with this is I've literally cooked it for probably um, about 20 minutes, 180, and, uh, and that's basically, you know, burnt cauliflower in a nutshell, yeah? In a nutshell. Oh, in a nutshell, yeah. So anyway, we've got some sea bass today. Okay, do you like sea bass? I love a okay, bit of sea bass. So well, you know what I like, John? I like to try everything. Exactly. Now, I brought this into the studio today, and this guy here didn't know what it was, but this is called Samphire. Grows from the sea, it's like a sea asparagus, some people call it, and things like that. Cook it very light, like wood asparagus as well, and it's just literally a two minute job. So, is it a seaweed? It's not a seaweed, such no, but it's like um, it grows uh, like on the shores, it's a coastal thing, really, yeah. and it's like deep sea and things like that. Um, but basically, it's um, yeah, it's, it's a sea asparagus, you know. Obviously, you don't see it in the shops, I don't understand why, because it's good for you and it's so easy, it's so versatile to use, you know. And we've got some brown shrimps as well. But have I done, have I, have I done enough? Uh, Absolutely, perfect. Perfect. Absolutely, Absolutely perfect. perfect, yeah. Right, okay. um, and that's it, yeah. So, very simple. What we're going to do, get, get this pan hot. You're going to get it hot then? Yeah, we're going to get it hot, yeah. So, okay. so you finally got to, after maybe 25 weeks, yeah, exactly. You finally got to grips with the hot. Tell me, twenty five weeks. Uh, I God, it feels like a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> it could be, could it? So what I'm doing, a bit of salt here, yeah. A bit of salt. Now we like that. You like a little bit of salt yeah, there. A little bit of salt. In that goes, and immediately we can get the sizzle. Yeah. Which we love. The so we keep it down. Sometimes yeah. the fish can curl up, especially with these um, uh, these long fish. Yeah. So um, keep it down. Yeah. So now it's not stuck yet. See that. Happy days. Happy days. Okay. And we're looking for a bit of a crispy skin on there? Yeah, of course. Yeah. We like a crispy skin. Yeah, so we get that going. We'll get it fried up, yeah? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to wash my hands, get this fishy fish off me. Okay. And uh, so whilst this is cooking, we've got, we've done the, we've done the cauliflower, the burnt cauliflower. Now I'm interested to see how this is all going to come so together. So this is a really simple dish. So all we're going to do is literally, it's a one pound wonder. It's so a one pound wonder? It's a one pound wonder, yeah. Like come home from work, 10 minutes, put the pan on, one pound in wonder. it all goes. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So we can see so it after smoking. So what we're going to do is, we're going to, uh, we're going to look at this skin here, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All we want is a nice golden brown in here. All right, so I'm going to take down a little bit now, because we want to get a deep cut car caramelization on it. So okay. Like, it's okay. not really high, all but so we don't want to okay. burn it. It's burn now. So we do that, yeah. So that goes in there. But you can see on the outside. I can it's see it's starting to crisp around. Yeah, yeah and it's going, see. it's going, it's going. It's going well, I can see the, the well, I, yeah. I can see the color of the flesh changing color yeah, as well. Exactly. So, yeah. so yeah, lovely. 
The ratio is really good here because. Oh, the, what? Tell me why the ratio is so good. This is a plug for you, Tim. This isn't it? Really? Yeah, there we go. Plug. Now, so, is it something to do with the temperature? It's quite like nutty for one, but also it's got a high temperature. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. It's got a good high temperature, and what that basically means you're cooking fish. But back in the day, you know, people used to cook a lot of fish with olive oil. Yeah. And it's all right, but you know, you need a non-stick pan and that kind of thing. But with ribs, I mean, it's good. It takes that high versatile. versatile. That's right. You know, it's very versatile. So what we're gonna do, we've got that going on there now. Okay. So what we're gonna put in here now, we're gonna put, we're gonna in, put the... um, a little bit of the oil. We're gonna put some butter. We're gonna put some butter in. All right, a little bit, a little bit of butter, yeah. And what this does, this gives us an even more nuttier taste. Okay. okay. So what this does, then we're gonna put this in here. So a little bit, bit of onion. A little bit of onion, yeah, a little bit of onion, and we're going to turn it on now. So we want this butter to go brown, yeah? Okay. So we want it to go brown. We want a nice hot heat, yeah? And then we're going to put these shrimps in here. A few bits of shrimps, yeah? Okay. Yeah, get that going on. Very simple, yeah. And then we're going to just put and the sunflower in, in as well. Yeah, sunflower in, yeah. And are we adding the cauliflower in here as yeah, well? Yeah, Are we going to put them? Yeah, yeah we're going to put it all in. You're going to put it all in? See that's that's the sound, that's the water in the sand fire. It's reacting. Yeah, it's coming out. Yeah. It's a high heat. So if you've got any kids around here and you and they're not being and they're not being good at home, then you want to get them coming <laughs> in this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can hear that popping away. Yeah, lovely. Alright, so so we've got some salt in there. I want to try this now. Mmm, lovely. So it's very simple. I'm that's getting, gonna be lovely. It's once again, like this, you know, we did a couple of dishes before, uh, so you know the flavour's on the pan, yeah? The flavour is indeed yeah. all in the pan. All in the pan, yeah. Very easy, yeah. And then we're going to just finish with a little bit of lemon juice. A little bit of lemon. A little bit of lemon juice. We're going to turn this fish over first. Yeah, and then we get a Yeah. And then... So that was even that. So that's the burnt cauliflower. That's the burnt cauliflower. I've got a feeling we're almost there. You're good at this. Yeah. You can take about 20 weeks in like me. We put it together, I can tell. <laughs> so what we're going to do is get a pan. Yeah, get a plate rather. Get a plate rather. You get a plate, exactly. Now this is my favourite. So we'll get the skin. The skin's quite crispy. Could be a little bit. Yeah. And then all we're doing, get all these vegetables on the top, yeah? Yeah. And then it's just say, yeah, easy. Yeah, easier. And what that does, it's all quite nutty, isn't it? Like, you've yeah. got the burns. Yeah. Cauliflower, you've got the burn there, you know, it's all quite nutty. So it all kind of all goes in together, yeah. So let's just recap a little bit then, John. So we've got our um, fillet of sea bass, which we've seared. Yeah. Okay, in the rapeseed oil, we've added a little bit of butter to it. Yeah. We've then put in some diced red onion. We've got some brown fire, shrimps. Brown shrimps and some samphire. And some samphire, yeah. And we've put in uh, some uh, <coughs> burnt cauliflower. So burnt cauliflower. Which has been in the oven for? Literally about 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay. minutes. okay. With nothing minutes. else done to it. Absolutely. And we're going to yeah. finally dress with a little bit of smoke oil. oil. And then, then we're going to go to my favourite drawer where the knives and forks exactly. are. Exactly. You can crack out this. Um, so this is quite good for you. So that's it, yeah. So basically all we're doing is literally cutting it down, you know, and that's it. We'll crack on. I'm going to crack on. I'm going to... Let's have a little taste. It's easy, yeah. Did you try the cauliflower as well? No. Oh. I didn't, I thought I had some cauliflower. I'm going to have to have some. Now that again, what I love about this whole process is the sort of um, the quickness and the simplicity of it. Exactly, yeah. Well, at the end of the day, we need a product that's going to be right for the people that mm. come home. No, so it's, quite, it's quite, quite simple, yeah. The burnt quality, because it's not burnt, it's just been sort of, it's slightly burnt on the outside. It's caramelised, right? yeah. Mm. The flavour of the cauliflower and the fish is absolutely delicious. Exactly, yeah. So easy, yeah? Easy, and away we go. Lovely. So I have one more mouthful, and then we'll wrap this one up. So there's our. Um, and, and oh, I mustn't forget as well, the code that you need to put in in order to get your free delivery, okay, is Colli, C-O-L-I. Go on over to Fussell's Fine Foods, www.fusselsfinefoods.co.uk and you can order, if you put in that word, then you will get free delivery. So, my thanks go to... Uh, Thank you very much, Timothy. Go to John again, and um, we'll be seeing you next time. Thank you very much, have a good day. Okay, bye-bye.